Minisform is a Chinese-based computer manufacturer that's been a market leader in mini PC form factors and features. This is the Elite Mini UM780 XTX featuring an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS high-end mobile APU with RDNA 3 graphics. Before we dive into the review, I want to give you my thoughts on this device to help you decide if you want to keep watching. This is geared towards mini PC enthusiasts and light to moderate gamers looking for a small form factor PC. The key takeaways, the 7840HS provides low-end desktop grade CPU and GPU performance without the size. Small form factor minimizes desk space, allows for monitor mounting. The USB 4 and Oculink port allow high-end graphics gaming via eGPU. And lastly, the price is reasonable with decent specs. In the box we get the mini PC, power adapter rated for 19 volts at 6.3 amps, vertical mounting bracket, VESA mount for mounting behind your monitor, instructions, HDMI cable, a cool decal that we're going to install in a few minutes. And lastly, an Oculink adapter board. More on that later. And just to give you an idea on the size, it's a little over 5 inches by a little over 2 inches high. On the front we have a headphone jack, USB 4 port, two USB Type A's, a power button. On the back we have some additional Type A ports, USB 4, HDMI, display port, dual 2.5 gigabit ethernet and your power input. We also have an Oculink port for eGPU and it's not installed right now, but we're gonna do that here in a minute. For pricing, we have around $600 for one terabyte of storage, 32 gigabytes of RAM. For around 700, you're gonna be at 64 gigabytes and you can bring your own stuff for around 400. I'm not going to go over all the specs, but the highlights are the Ryzen 7 7840HS with 16 threads, 8 cores, and a turbo up to 5.1 GHz. It does have removable RAM, and it is DDR5 up to 5600 MHz. It's got dual M.2 2280 PCIe 4.0 slots, but if you want to use Oculink, you are going to occupy one of those slots. It supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5, and the HDMI is 2.1, and the DisplayPort is 1.4. Let's install the decal, and we're going to do that by removing the lid. And we're going to align the decal with these little features here. And we're going to want to make sure this adhesive strip faces the lid. And if you turn this on without the decal, it's just one giant RGB square. It's not that attractive, but it is pretty easy to turn off in the advanced BIOS settings. Looks awesome. Here we have Spider-Man Remastered, 1080p, low, with FSR set at balance, and we're running at about 45 watts. And as you can see, we're above 60 frames a second, even near the cars and the people. So yeah, this is definitely playable on this little mini PC. Here we have Halo Infinite at 800p low and we're at 45 watts and yeah we're getting over 80 frames a second this is definitely fast enough to play this first person shooter. Here's Elden Ring 1200p running at 45 watts. And yeah, we're not hitting 60. This is really tough on these APUs to hit 60 on this game. You can definitely play it in the high 40s or you could lock it at 30 all day. And here's Heaven Benchmark running at 1080p high and we're going to get an average of around 80 FPS. I wanted to use this as a benchmark for when we do use the eGPU. You can see what kind of performance we do get. This video is sponsored by Uperfect. They sent over this K118 18-inch portable gaming monitor for review. This features a 2K resolution, 144Hz refresh rate display, has two USB-C and one mini HDMI input. This paired really nicely with this mini PC. I was able to enable FreeSync in the AMD settings and I can run the entire display off one USB-C cable. Use code HANDHELD30 to take $30 off your $200 purchase. Link in the description. 
This here is the One X GPU by One Netbook. It features an AMD 7600 MXT, and we've got it connected via the USB 4 port in the back of the device. And here's Heaven Benchmark running on the eGPU, and we've got an average frame rate of 252 FPS. So we've tripled our score. So yeah, you can definitely upgrade with an eGPU. The other option is the Oculink port, and the One X GPU does have one. This is going to offer PCIe Gen 4 times 4 and we're going to need to install this little daughter board here into the mini PC. Now there are a few cables that are hanging out, so don't just yank this out. We're going to put it in carefully. Oculink is the better of the two solutions. There are some drawbacks. You do have to sacrifice an M.2 slot, as you see here. We also have to start the GPU with it plugged in, otherwise it won't get recognized in Windows. Oculink doesn't have the translation loss as Thunderbolt and USB 4 have, and you do get more gigabits per second bandwidth because of the Gen 4 speeds. You can do plenty of other things like programming, and here's Visual Studio 2022 running my software, Handheld Hardware Tools. It's a nice little tool for controlling things about your PC like TDP, and as you can see, I am going to support Minisform PCs. And yeah, the CPU has no problem running this. Minisform does a great job bundling a bunch of power into a small package, and I can wholeheartedly recommend this if you're in the market for a mini PC, especially one where you want options to upgrade the graphics power. If you're interested in picking up this mini PC, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you're interested in my software, stay tuned because I'll have more updates on that soon. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.